Since my Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl, the Ultimate Edition, I've been wanting to do a video talking about it, if I think it's worth it or not. Since I don't think a lot of people are really talking about it on YouTube, like the Ultimate Edition itself, or even the, the game itself now in the state it's in, for that matter. And so I'm just going to do a video talking about this, because I have it right here with me, and we're going to see if it's still worth picking up, even a little bit over a year after it came out. So if you like this video, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. We're almost to 100,000 subs. We're like 20,000-ish away from it. So I want you guys to smash that sub button, give it give it a good slimy uh, like. Kind of looks like slime if you do it on mobile, by the way. <laughs> but, but anyway, enough with the Nickelodeon riffraff. Let's get on with the video and talk about Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. Let's go. Okay, so here are my first initial thoughts of the game when it, when it first came out. When it first got announced, I believe something about it leaked out. And it was called like... Like Nick Brawl or Nick Toons Brawl or something. Something weird. I was like, what is this? And then when it finally got like officially announced, it was called Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. And I was like, huh. And then when the trailer dropped, okay, this looks like Super Smash Bros. meets Nickelodeon. And it looks really cool. So when it came out, I bought it on Switch, of course, since that's what I mainly played on at the time. Because I was still down in the basement room. And the Switch was my main console I played. Since my brother always commented the damn TV that had the PS4 plugged into it. But that's beside the point. But whatever, I played the Switch version. By the way, I'm joking. It's not, it wasn't a big deal, by the way. I'm just trying to make this more lighthearted and fun. But So I, I bought it on the Switch. And I, I was like... I was like, okay, this game's really fun. It's it's got decent online for Switch, I guess. Don't don't be expecting too much from like the online performance with the Nintendo Switch version, because you guys know the Nintendo Switch has issues with online, like crappy servers and whatnot. So I didn't expect too much, but it, but it actually ran pretty good for being on the Switch. But the main sour grape in my experience with it was what everybody was talking about. Where were the voices? Why don't the characters have voices? Why can't I distinguish my character from a mirror match character? Where are alternate costumes? Now they added alternate costumes a couple months after it got released. I think after Garfield and Shredder dropped. For free. They added alternate costumes. And then everybody's like, cool, but where's the voices? And then I one of one of the one of the people working on the game said, Yeah, we want to do voiceover work, but we want to see how well the game sells first before we commit to doing like voiceovers, because I'm guessing it was a money issue or something. I have no idea. But eventually, they they did. I don't know if it winning the game game award, like fighting game of the year award or whatever whatever the hell it says on this case. What does it say? Yeah, fighting game of the year award. I don't know if that had anything to do with it, with them deciding to add voiceover with it. But once that got added, I immediately turned it on. The PS4 version I had at the time. Updated, and yes, it was the free upgrade version to the PS5. So I updated, played it, and I was like, holy crap, this this is how the game should have played. This is how it should have been when it first, like, launched. It should have had voices. Then I think the game would have performed a lot better because that was something a lot of people expected. But that's not what we got. And... To be fair, in the in the trailers, you never heard any any voices, so I assumed there wasn't any voices. But still, I think it would have helped having voices. 
lo and behold, I, I, I think it was a month or two before the Universe pack was announced. I had Jenny and Hugh and Rocco. I think that's when they finally dropped the voiceover patch. I, I don't remember if they called it that, but that's what everybody was calling it online. I was like, I was like, no way. They actually had voiceovers. And like, you, you get Cat Dog, SpongeBob, Patrick, Sandy, uh, Brennan Stimpy, Rocco, Hugh. I'm not sure about Jenny. I'm not sure if that's her original voice actress. Uh, I don't think it is, but it sounds good enough. Uh, but, and everybody online was like, like saying, well, there goes the modding community. There, no need for the PC mods anymore. Because I'm assuming people modded the game, the PC version to have voices. So, I mean, that shows how dedicated the people were to having that game be, like, voiced over. But I think it was too little too late. And the fact that they did an Ultimate Edition so soon, like a year after it released, I think that means they're not going to do any more DLC. So, I mean, I hope the game did well enough for a sequel, but I, I just... I don't know. It just doesn't seem that active anymore, which brings me to my pros and cons list to end out this video. So, overall, my my pros about this game are the number of characters, which is 26. There's 26 unique characters. They all have different moves and different moves. That's just nothing really shared between them. There's 25 stages. Uh, one of them being the Double Dare stage, which is kind of cool. Uh, that's probably my favorite stage in the game because I love Double Dare growing up. Uh, the price point isn't too bad at thirty nine ninety nine, but that's not really a pro. But it's not too bad. But right now, it's on sale for twenty four ninety nine. But the thirty nine ninety nine price is across the board for all versions. So even the base version is still. Uh, thirty nine ninety nine, which I think is stupid. In some places, some places have it marked down by like ten bucks, I think. But it's still basically full price. So if you can get it, get it now, while Black Friday and stuff is going on. So my real pros and cons list: it's got a very good roster, like I said. They finally added voiceovers, and it's a good, it's a good party game to have fun with your friends. Like, oh, I can beat. I bet your cat dog can beat Ren and Stimpy, one of those things. Because you can set AI against each other too and just have fun little games and do stuff like that. That's what I would do if I want to turn it into a party game. Like, oh, I bet you Powder Toast Man could beat Reptar. Um, but anyway, cons would be the lackluster alternate costume selection, only having one alt costume per character, basically just your standard one and all basically two costumes that's it like that's that's done me i wish they would have done like for ren and stimpy for example what i would have done was a fire dogs costume and maybe like dr stupid for stimpy and um for like the stimpy side and then maybe like adventure Ran where they do those adventure documentaries. I don't know, something like that. Give it more variety. And this is where I'm unsure about this con right here, but I put it in here just on the off chance I'm I'm right. But it could be the time of day I was trying to get footage for online, which you guys already saw. But the online seems pretty dead to me. But I have heard they're going to imp implement crossplay, and that kind of ties in. That that's why I skipped over it because it, it ties in with the, the one I just said. So crossplay has not been implemented yet, which is a huge uh, deal. Because if that gets implemented, then it opens up the door to a bunch of other consoles to play with, and a bunch of more opportunities to actually find an online game fairly quickly. Because I it took me probably five minutes to find one game just get footage and i think the one person i found i've i found twice but they rage quit the first time so i didn't 
keep that footage. And then the second person I found, I did keep that footage. So yeah, it kind of sucks that crossplay isn't implemented yet. I'm, I'm unsure if they're still going to do it. I hope they are. Because it was in the data for the game at some point. Like the graphic for like a checkbox for crossplay was in the da data for the game. So hopefully it's still there. And hopefully it's going to be implemented soon. That's why I I didn't really want to put it in there. But just know if it's not it's not a super active game anymore. So you might struggle finding a game online. So just be aware of that. But the last con is, is an obvious one. And that's the obvious omission of all the DLC on the disc. It's literally on this slip of paper. The only thing you're buying when you buy this is this case art and the slip of paper in there that has the DLC code. The PS5 disc is exactly the same as the base version of the game. So if you already have this base version, just just wait for it to go on sale digitally, the DLC season pass. Because the cheapest I saw was ten nineteen, I think, which isn't that much of a discount. Wait for it to go on sale for like eight bucks. That'll even itself out to buying this. Unless you're like me and you want to have like the most current case, I guess, or version of the game. Not really even version of the game, just like if you're a collector and you want to have like th this, this case art, then buy it, I guess. But if you already have the PS5 version, like I said, it's literally the same disc. Um, so if you want, I can send you a high quality scan of this and you can try to like print it on high quality paper and make your own artwork for it or something. Because really, that's all you really need is artwork and this slip of paper right here. So, really, it's not really worth buying this version, but I like the, the gold background of the artwork. It seems more finite and ending, so, I don't know, I, I'm weird. I, I bought it full knowing well there was probably a code on the, in the case, but oh well. I mean, they, the least they could have done is what Mortal Kombat 11 did. At least they gave you a, a new disc and it said Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate. So, at least they did that. But I think the DLC is still tied behind that code. But at least the disc said Ultimate on it. Even though it probably wasn't. I don't know for sure about that. Because I already had the DLC for that game anyway. But at least they put in the effort to... Make a new disc, I guess. But, um, but, uh, Game Mill didn't, so shame on you for not making a new disc. Uh, the collector in me that, that bothered me for some reason. I don't know why. But there are my thoughts on Nickelodeon and All Star Brawl. I think it's fun. I think it's a little bit underrated, a little bit underappreciated, but I think you should, guys could, should go check it out. If the gameplay didn't sell you, then the game's probably not for you. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel on Patreon. If you do, it's only a dollar a month. And it's also only $3 if you want to be a Bronze Team member and get a personal shout out. Which leads me to the personal shout out section of this video. So shout outs go to my patrons on my Bronze Team member. Matt Y99, Reaper7734, Title Cal, Harry Fernandez, AJ Gawa, Oliver Frederick, Marcus S, Zool Atfi, It's Me Charles, uh, Joe, William Swift, Griff17, Charlie McKeon, Reverse Security, Zoo Hall, Artistic Tomahawk, Pre Layab, Just Drew, Ari Munsane, and HHG Fan. Thank you guys so much for supporting me on Bronze here. Really helps out the channel. Thank you to everybody who does. Your name's scroll on the screen right now. And thank you to my members that support the channel on memberships. It's only $4.99 a month. You get special badges when I go live. And in the chat. And I think you get like special chat emojis too. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And let me know what you guys think about Nickelodeon All Star Brawl in the comments. If you decide to buy it. Thank you guys so much. And peace out.